Warning, the following video you're about to see might contain possible spoilers, and if they do spoil something, apologies in advance. Thank you. Hey, hey, this is Matthew B. Lamont, and welcome to another trailer reaction video. <clears throat> and this one is a trailer reaction video to Invader Zim, Enter the Florpus. And, uh, I heard about the Invader Zim reboot a while back, and, uh, it's a teaser, and they and they, Nickelodeon really teased us, teased us by showing absolutely nothing but the voices of Di, of Zim and Gurr. But now this time, this teaser, this new trailer to enter the Florpus. Let's see what's in stall. So let's hope. Let's see what's going to happen here, because I heard Invader Zim had like a short run, but gained a cult status. And uh, it got cancelled quickly because, oh, it's the opposite end of the spectrum. Well, let's see how it works, and let's see... I don't know, I have nothing to say about this. Here goes nothing. Gaz Max, so it must be Gaz. There's Zim. Is that Dib? Yeesh. And there's Zim in his human disguise. I knew it was Gaz. <laughs> ah, he looks screaming. It's those crazy neighbors. <sighs> that did well, he really let himself go. Dib did let himself go. Wow, what's this cute show? Oh, that's Dib. If I don't know what that other Dib is, maybe he changed. I know, maybe it's a flashback. <laughs> the purple tallest spits on the other Urkin. Gurr throws a fit. <sighs> the moose. What is that thing? <laughs> Phase two. Kids are floating. Which was a scrapped idea. And Dib is like really pushed the edge too far. Waffles! Syrup. That's Dib. I think, okay, that scene is like perfect con connection between the old messed up Dib to the modern trained Dib. Causing a city of blackout. Invader Zim. Oh, enter the floor, puss. There goes the Urkin logo. Well, one fact is that uh, originally wanted to have kids floating, but uh, they scrapped the idea. And uh, Zim, just like, ah, Phase 2! Yeah, because ah, yeah. yeah, back when the show was on its original run, uh, Zim. He being an egotistical, uh, conquering alien character, he yells a lot, he screams a lot, and uh, which caused Richard Horvitz to lose his voice and takes an entire day or a day and a half to get it back. And other voice actors had busy schedules. And, my gosh, uh, the original voice cast for Invader Zim is back. Now, I'd like to talk about Dib for a bit. And Dib, I see him. I see him. He looks so messy and sloppy, and he didn't take him take take care of himself. He, he completely let himself go, and he just wants to focus on this crazy goal. There's one scene where 
Dib and his father are at, are at the garage and he's like really mad. He wants a proof that aliens exist and he's like raging mad. He's like Captain Ahab of the, of the show that aliens exist, but a Captain Ahab by all means of Wily e. Coyote. He tries to get Zim, but he fails to get Zim. And we sympathize with him a bit, just like how we sympathize the coyote trying to catch the Roadrunner. Hey, I like those Coyote and Roadrunner cartoons, okay, so don't judge me on that. Because I ran into a lot of people who say that Coyote and Roadrunner cartoons are, well, stupid, and that's the reason why they hate them. And uh, with that, um, I see scenes of, like, Dib getting himself back together, pulling himself together, like you see a training montage of like Dib from like fat and like sloppy looking and messy to shing, clean and uh, shiny and sophisticated, whatever. So I haven't been watching Invader Zim. It was a weird and dark show and uh, I don't get it, but my friends like it. It's gained a cult status. And I don't know how it'll work. It'll be somewhere between TVY7 or TVPG. No, TVY7, definitely. And Florpus. What is that Florpus thing? Is it some sort of dimension of some sort? I don't know. Until later, I saw some three-headed or three-camera lens thing device in the trailer. And uh, is that the Florpus? How, how could that be? Is that the Florpus? Maybe that's a possibility it's the Florpus, so... So what do you think? What do you think? Do you believe... Uh, do you think... It, do you want to give this show a watch? Don't forget to like and subscribe, and this is Matthew B. Lamont saying... See ya!